Good morning from Jamaica Beach, Texas. Today is Thursday, October the 20th. And I'd like to talk about these raised beds as well as a couple of plants that are doing really well for me this season. Now first, these are Birdie's Raised Beds. They are made in Australia and they are sold by Epic Gardening. Epic Gardening is a fantastic website for gardening advice and videos, tips and tricks, and they have an excellent store with outstanding gear. I love these Birdie's Raised Beds. They're very easy to put together and it's a great way to get set up with raised beds without too much construction experience required. They basically just screw together uh, with screws and they're very durable. They've lasted, they're going on their third season for me right now. Uh, very little to no rust and I live in a very rust prone area on the Texas Gulf Coast. So very durable, easy to set up and highly recommended. Now these particular round beds, here's an, another little tip or trick for you. I bought these plexiglass covers, uh, plexiglass sheets at Lowe's and they fit perfectly inside this raised bed. I use some bamboo sticks to prop it up because wind is one of my biggest challenges. So uh, when the winds are blowing hard, um, they're not blowing this morning, obviously, but last couple of days they have been. I put up these shields and it really keeps my plants from getting too much wind damage. Um, here's a nice look at a, at a fall tomato that's doing quite well. You can see they're ripening up in here. I grow almost everything in my garden from seed. This is something that I did pick up at Home Depot. I'm not even sure of the variety. All I know is that is a determinant of some sort. Uh, it's doing quite well, as you can see. It is absolutely loaded with tomatoes. So really excited about my fall tomatoes. Of course, I've got your classic basil down here. What's a garden without basil? Now, this is a fantastic flower that I'm growing for the first time this year. It is from Johnny's Select Seeds. And it is um, a giant marigold. They have it in yellow and they also have it in orange. I chose the yellow, obviously. And you can see these flowers are just massive. They grow easily from seed. Uh, we use them as cut flowers in the house. Uh, we gave some to neighbors. Uh, they just keep pumping out the flowers. I plan on taking some to the farmer's market this weekend, but highly recommended. Now, they're not much of a draw for pollinators, I will admit, and I do grow a lot of flowers and plants for pollinators, uh, but these are just so beautiful. How can you resist these giant yellow marigolds from Johnny's Select Seeds? One more quick mention, I'll run down to the end. It's getting near the end of season for my peppers, but these have been absolute superstars. Um, they've been suffering a bit in the wind and the heat. They don't look so great, but it is called Auxilio. And you can see the spelling on the screen. And they, they make these beautiful red Italian frying papers, uh, peppers, excuse me. They've been incredibly prolific, just absolutely pumping out the peppers all summer long. They're both sweet and hot, which makes it really interesting. So I eat them fresh in salads. I put them in tomato sauce, uh, cook them with uh, onions and peppers, anything that needs onions or peppers, they're excellent. Uh, the seed is very easy to save, of course, like most peppers. And since this is an heirloom, um, you can save the seed and you'll, it'll grow true next season. I got these seeds from Seed Savers. So seedsavers.org, fantastic heirloom seed collection, highly recommended. And check out Auxilio Pepper. You will absolutely love them. Well, that's a quick update from the garden. You can see the birdies' beds are looking great. I plan on getting them transplanted out with some fall vegetables soon. Uh, beyond that, have a great day.